course, I'm talking about your brand. No matter where you are in your journey, you really want to think about your brand and how much you're going to love it and what you're doing currently and how you want to grow. So in this module, I'm going to be sharing several things with you on how to communicate your brand. Understanding from a psychological angle what your brand means to you and what your brand means to other people is two different things. Doing an annual brand strategy review has been one of the most beneficial things I think I have ever done for my business. And actually, someone that works with me came to me with that brand review. Um, and I'll talk about that in just a few minutes. But first, let's start off in talking about your logo and social media and how consistency matters. So you'll notice on our Instagram, after I was educated the right way, that in each of these pictures, we always try to follow that pattern. I mean, obviously, we jump out sometimes, like this was a Mother's Day post. And um, this header picture right here, you can use this as an opportunity for marketing something that you have coming up, or you can just have the same image up there with your logo all the time, is organizing your Pinterest board. I think it really helps your followers understand um, what you do and what you offer. So, so going more into your brand and your website, I'm just using mine as an example so you can know the behind the scenes of how we're thinking. Now I want to talk about the importance of having an annual brand strategy review. Most of us in the creative world were just so visual. And so she taught me how important it was when looking at a bunch of pictures that it needs to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Says, Guys, these are totally free. So make sure that if you don't look at your analytics on Google, you do that because it's important that you know where your traffic is coming from. No one is ever going to love your brand as much as you do. You always be by my side. 